Hey everybody. Yo, Ricky, how you doing? <laughs> Alyssa, how are you, darling? The Saw Dog, Dirt Road Landing. How are you, my friend? How's everybody today? So, did you guys... Did you guys check out that little home light, that 58cc saw? People ask me, I just got my fire going, friends. I'm just getting warmed up in here. Um, you know, people ask me, uh, why, why grind the chain? If you've never run a good ground chain if you've never run it um with the raker set and and just like set up right you you'll never know you'll never know until you do um it's faster it cuts faster plain and simple but it takes a bit to get onto your rakers and 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 all that that took a little bit for me in the beginning You like the double bit, eh, gaming? The gaming channel? You, what do you think of that double bit action? Pretty nice, eh? If you can, <coughs> excuse me, <coughs> the gaming channel. Good to see you, by the way. If you can, try and try and incorporate that flick. You'll, you'll be absolutely blown away once you get onto it. But there's a little trick to it. You kind of let your hands go right at the end. Don't, don't hold tight. As you come down, you kind of, you actually almost throw it, actually. That's why it's called the flick, because you loosen up on your hands. You know what I mean? How you doing, Jason? Keith Farmer uses the flick. It, it's, it's not going to come to you right away. It's not just going to happen, right? <clears throat> Excuse me. But it will come. It will come. Ricky, you dirty dog. Thanks for the super chat, buddy. Thank you. Hi, Chelsea. How are you? Friends, it's Christmas time. It was snowing here today. My poor cat. We noticed he's got this little, my cat and me. I love my cat. We have a funny little relationship. He, uh, he's got this little thing. It, I think he, he was battling a bird or something and something maybe happened. Or maybe it's an abscess. He's 11. He's going to be 11, 10 or 11. So my wife's on the phone to the vet which always hurts. But years ago, I grew up, if your animal got sick, depending on what it was, if it got hit by a car or something, broken legs, usually, you know, <laughs> it, it, depending on the, on the wounds and the circumstances, um, we, we didn't spend money on animals. We didn't have the money to spend on animals. We, we didn't. But being with my wife for the last 25 years, it's a completely different story. Their, their, their family grew up with pets in the house, living in the house. I, I didn't. I didn't grow up like that. But when you, dis, when you spend, decide to make the decision to spend the rest of your life with somebody, things change. <clears throat> Gainsies. Good to see you, buddy. Thank you for the super chat. Friends, let's thank Gainsies. Hey, did I miss something here? I missed a $10 super chat. I don't like that. Hang on a second here. Kevin Murray. Don't think you can sneak by with a quick super chat, buddy. Nice try, but I got gotcha. you. Oh, there's the move dog. <laughs> there's the move dog on a super chat. Thanks, move. Friends, let's thank these folks, okay? Please, just, just make it part of the program. As soon as you see one, just thank them because it helps this entire scenario, especially in the deep of the winter. Thank you so much, you super chatters. Awesome stuff. Cheech, how are you, buddy? <clears throat> the... 
Big Country, good to see you, buddy. Been a long time. Nice to see you. Thomas Rogers, holy cow. Now there's a hell of a man right there, Thomas Rogers. Brandon, what's Brandon, what does Brandon say, friends? Awesome seeing you run old home lights. I got my grandpa's old home light. 360 professional running. Uh, just started on his Super XL. Love the streams, bucking. Brandon Preston, thank you for your support on the Super Chat, buddy. Thank you so much, pal. I appreciate it. Yeah, thanks to the Super Chatters. Whoa, and there's the, there's the, the, the neighborhood go-to guy. Hey, buddy. Hey to you. Hey to you, buddy. Good to see ya. Brody. Buck and Bucks. <laughs> Brody, good to see ya. Thanks, buddy. Did you guys catch that freaking, that, uh, that axe handle making thing the other day? And that little axe? Man, that was a nimble little sucker, wasn't it, eh? Did you guys enjoy that video? I sure did. I loved it. Oh, that's good. Yeah, he's he showed me a picture of his gun. Hunter Thompson. Hunter. Hey, Bucking from Wisconsin. How are you doing, Hunter? I'm doing great. Thanks for asking, buddy. I am, truly. And I'm not just saying that. I'm doing very well. Thank you. Andrew, you pole burning, pole barn building son of a gun, you. <laughs> thank you, buddy. Super chatters. Man, you guys. Thank you so much. Look at this sky. Man, it's a full-time job thanking you people. Thank you all so much. Sky, now listen. Sky, I want to talk to you. Hey, Ethan, are you on today? My little buddy, Ethan. Listen, Sky, um, what size of file are you using on, on your chain, buddy? What size of file are you using? We love you too, Chels. Thank you. Hey, Anne. Anne Kerkit. Kerkit. Anne. Good to see you, Anne. What a sweetheart you are to come to these live feeds. I love it when the wives get involved. I truly do. Uh, to the wives, I love you all so much. Thank you, for, thank you for supporting your husbands here. I love it. Big time. I appreciate it. Oh, that's the problem. That's the problem right there, Sky. I thought you might have been doing that by that picture, buddy. Get rid of that. You're running 3H chain, aren't you? You're not running 325, are you, buddy? Hi, Michael and Julie. How are you guys? Ansi. Ansi. Good to see you guys. Hello from North Sweden. Sweet, la Sweet jacket. Hello. Good to see you. Sky, what size of um, what size of chain are you using? You shouldn't be running three two five if you're on your you're running your max right. Your max should be should be three eight sprocket, buddy. Okay, that's that's why you're 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 digging out too much hook. If you're running your max, you'll be three eight. Grab a seven thirty seconds. By the looks of that gullet, you're running a three sixteenths file. It's too small. You're going to have your top plate curl over and get dull quick. It's going to start jumping around. Get the 730 seconds and do your same process you're doing now. Your gullet looks good, but it's too deep. Do you understand what I'm saying, buddy? James Moore. Thank you, buddy. Broderick. Brother, good to see you. Thanks, TJ Stevenson. Thank you. Davis, 
You dirty dog, I saw you. There was another fella I saw on the super chat. Don't be sneaky. It's Nathan. Nathan Honeyman. Thanks, brother. One, two, three, go. You guys are awesome. <laughs> I love it. Hey, what's going on here? What's happened here? There we go. Good to see you guys. Julie Gentry, how are you, darling? Oh, Jay, the home lights are they're wonderful. They they really are. Friends, you gotta you gotta remember every saw had its every saw had its day in the bush. Home lights had a good run back then. They had some good saws. That little power saw that I was running in the last video, I'll tell you something, Cheech Par Parcel. Thanks, Cheech, for the super chat. Um, hey, Kenny, good to see you. They do sound nice, don't they, Rich? Carl Off Grid, how are you, brother? Good to see you. Christine. Christine, I got that cool thing you sent me on the super chat. That was cool. Arthur. Hey, Buck, and love the vids from where? From down east Maine. Arthur. Arthur Sochma. Sochma. Sotomo. Sotoma. Ha <laughs> ha. I tried, buddy. I butchered the last name. I know. Whoa. Cody Bryson chopped two cords yesterday with the little fire yesterday. Works like a dream. Cody, come on. Don't be yanking my chain, brother. Are you kidding me? Is it good or what? <laughs> that thing's nuts. I know it is. If you guys want to see a cool axe, go to that uh, video I was uh, splitting wood with my dad out to split in a splitter knot. Remember the double fire axe? Those were deadly. I'm glad they're working, Cody. Charlie Flanders. It's Mr. Flanders, folks. Charlie, you're a son of a gun. Big Wazo, what the? You guys, gals, women, and children, thanks for the super chats. Look at this here now, Charlie. Big Waza. Friends, let's talk to Big Waza here. Look at Cody, Cody Bryson. You got Malcolm Booth and Arthur. I got you guys. I'm keeping up to you, sons of guns. Mr. Waza, man, oh man. Mr. Waza, how are things going with our new venture over there down under, brother? How's it going? Talk to me, brother. I love it. Graham Holland, great to see you. Tasman Kenny. <laughs> what about bellhopper, friends? Come on. Give me a freaking, give me a hell yeah for the bellhopper. Talk to me about a live feed, son of a gun. Little Admer. There's the bellhopper right there. Bellhopper, you're a wild man. I'm driving the super chatting at the same time. <laughs> Big was I knew you were a talented man. man right there. <laughs> Just finished basic training. Sorry, friends. I wish I could answer every freaking comment. You guys, damn. Isaac. Woo. <laughs> Little late, my friend, for Christmas. Yeah, it's pretty. Was that an oversight or just something you thought about? I do have a couple, but I, I don't think I'd get it to you for Christmas, pal. Love to all. Hope all is well. Bucking the adventures coming along. Just give me a bit more time and I'll have something. 
Brother, I'm very interested in that. Very interested. Good for you, Big Waza. Good for you, man. I'm excited about that thing for you. Thanks, Jeffrey. We appreciate you being here, buddy. Yeah, the bellhopper. What a wild man. Love you too, buddy. Love you too. Walter Rodriguez. Hey, he's doing one of those. <laughs> what is that, Shay? Number one fan, Walter Rodriguez, jumping up and down. I love it. Michael August. How you doing, Michael? Night, nightmare tree the other day, hey? Oh, yeah, that alder. Don't. What are you going to do? I don't pack trucks and rigging out in the bush it's a man and his power saw that's what it is i've been doing that stuff for years it doesn't make sense to a lot of people but it doesn't have to doesn't have to yeah those are sketchy we do those all the time out in the bush you got to get them down usually you can smack them with something though when you're in a falling setting but that was just a one tree we had to get handled Christmas tree's up and the lights are on, right on. Yeah, I'm getting excited. I'm getting kind of excited, to be honest with you. Yeah. Oli Kitchman, Kitching Man. Oli, good to see you, buddy. Thanks for popping in. So, um, Sky, you got to switch size your file. Bucking, the axes are a hit here in Pennsylvania. We love them. You are a master of your craft. Oh, hey, come on. Thanks, you guys. Thank you. Yep. Uh, no, Steve, no battery-powered stuff here. No, I haven't tried any of them. Well, that's not true. I tried one at Buckingstock. Yeah. PB, how you doing? Marv, good man. Warren Flip, how about a how about a show on the ropes I use? Well, there's nothing special about that, Warren. Just every tree guy's gonna be, I mean, just pick a good line. I mean, I run a half inch, nine sixteenths, five eighths, and a crazy big three quarter inch bull rope for for madness. I even have a one inch bull rope for crazy hanging trees out of the sky when you get in that. That job that pops up once in a while where you need to hang a house off of a crotch or something like that. You know what I'm talking about? Big rigging. I I, uh, I tip rigged a, a, a four foot uh, cottonwood. Actually, very similar situation to that alder the other day. We had a, a four foot alder. Well, Brandon Church, look at this man. Stay prosperous and keep doing what you're doing. Bless you, successful in the future. Brandon, you son of a gun. Thanks, buddy. What a guy. Thank you. Thank you, buddy. Thanks for the super chat. Um, yeah, I, I tip rigged a, uh, a four foot cottonwood. It, 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 it blew over into another tree, another four foot cottonwood. So it was two big cottonwoods like this. This one blew over like that. And I, I talked to all my tree buddies that, I, the first guy that, that actually, this is interesting, friends. This is interesting. I talked to my buddy that, that broke me in climbing. I've talked to him, talked about him before on the channel. And uh, he, was, he was the guy that sent me up my first tree. We used to kick the crap out of each other in kindergarten, grade one and grade two. Yeah. But anyway... I, I went to him and I told him what I had and I said what I'm going to do is go up and I'm going to tip rig it and cut it from the bottom. Just stand at the bottom and cut this thing off. And he said, no, don't do that. 
<laughs> that's no, you can't do that. And I thought to myself, well, hold on a minute. It's already leaning into the tree. I'm going to go up higher than where it's hung, like up higher, throw a rope over two, three quarter inch ropes. Whoa, Joe Pollard, love the channel and the army family. Joe Pollard, buddy, thank you so much for that super chat, buddy. We love you. Holy freaking smokes. Look at deeds. You people are, man, oh man. See, this is, this is what I'm talking about right here. Let, let, I'm going to change my direction of stories right here. You guys, gals, women, and children, listen. It's winter time. This is why I put something up every day. This is, this is part of the reason. is because you people support this channel. Straight goods. It, it is. It's because of this, this group of people here. This, you guys call yourselves the Bucket Army. I mean, I, 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 I do my damnedest to get something up every day. And it's because of what goes on here on Sundays and in general. And over here, these people. I got a couple new names coming in the in the mail. Mar Marcus, Marcus, are you watching? Or Marcin, Kentucky, how are you? Hey, listen, back to that crazy tree job, okay? Four foot, no, 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 no crap, friends. Four footer. So I went up. I hung two three-quarter inch bull ropes, okay, over top of a crotch. One there and one just above. Big crotches, okay? Just natural crotch rigging. Came down, tied the tied this tree off, like over the crotch, tied this off. Guthrie, you son of a gun, brother. Good to see you. Guthrie, thank you, buddy. And um, tip rigged it twice. Two now. So that's two. Three-quarter inch bull rope. Came down, skinny kid actually did the rig and I sent him up to hang the ropes. Came down and I took a four foot chunk off just like I did yesterday on that altar. Four footer. So it slid off the stump and Joe poked right into the ground. Okay, so now what's happening? It's not hanging on the ropes, friends. Is it? No, it's not. It, it's in the ground. There's no, it's not hanging. The only time it stressed those ropes out is when it left the stump and hit the ground again. Now all it's doing is just holding it in the tree. That's it. I stump jumped that thing out right to the ground in a confined space of about 50 foot circle. The whole thing. <laughs> Skinny kid still to this day said it's the craziest tree job he's ever seen done in his life. And I'm not toot my own horn. It's just what we did. It was way before the days of YouTube. It was nuts. Still to this day, those stumps are in the ground, sticking up about five or six of them in the, <laughs> or probably more, I forget, some are on the ground. Yeah, it was a blast. I was very happy. Wayne, the 21 day love challenge. I love it, brother. I love it. Are we 14 days in now? Have we got another week to go on the 21 day? How many, how many people tipped that challenge and how many people are still doing it? That's a good call, Wayne. Lifetime challenge. That's right, brother. Good man. Daniel, you dirty dog. Hey, Anne. And that axe. It's beautiful. It is. It's gorgeous. It's going to look deadly wherever you put it. Let me know when it lands. It should land this week, I would think. Michigan. How are you? From Michigan. Brian, good to see you.
Yeah, how about that copy lathe? Talk to me about that. I was very excited. Question for you on the square flat files. Are you using quarter inch for quarter, quarter chain three eighths for three eighths? Hey buddy, I, I gotta tell you right now, uh, all I know is that I use three eighths chain, okay? Uh, it, it, it's whatever you use for, you know who to ask? Ask the iron horse, okay? Ask the iron horse. It, it's for three eighths chain, buddy. That's what it's for. I don't know much about it. I've been grinding my whole time. So this is new to me, but I'm going to tell you something, friends. I'm going to tell you. Did you see that home light cut? And it's got potential to cut faster than that. I don't have it down yet. It was cutting nice. Don't get me wrong. It was cutting nice. It wasn't really hungry. Did you, did you, did you hear the RPM? The RPM stayed up. It didn't go, whoa, 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 whoa. It did none of that. It stayed up. That means you got a nice steady pull on your chain. Not too hungry. You don't want it too hungry, friends. You don't want that. Southern Michigan, right on, brother. Well, I, I don't know yet, Deeds. I, I, I don't know yet. Uh, I, I know I like square ground chain way better than I do hand file on my machine, on my so, uh, my Symington. Get, hands down, guaranteed, bar none, no, not even like Led Zeppelin's my favorite band. There's no question. Probably cuts 15% faster, 15, 20% faster. Isaac. She cuts a, that's right, brother. Hey, thanks for the super chat, brother. <laughs> what a guy. She cuts a. Yeah, no, it, but but the hand file's not there yet. I, I don't have it yet. Do, do you want me to go get the file? Do you guys want me to show you the file, what it looks like? It, it Listen, when you get it down, it's, it, how can't it cut faster? Did you see that evil thing? Hang on a sec. Okay. <laughs> so what it is, it's a flat file. Okay. Do you guys know what a ground chain looks like? Do, do you know what, do you know what it looks like? It, it was, I tried to put my eyes into and figure it out. Like, how does this do this? So you just got to get in there, friends. Get in there and file the freaking chain. But I'll tell you something. You've got to be more precise with this file than you do a round file. Round file, you can do all kinds of stuff. You can't do that with this. You can't do it. You've got to find your spot and you got to stay there. Seriously, you've got to stay there. <clears throat> 
<clears throat> Excuse me. I've done this four times. I've literally done this four times, and I got it cut and gritty. Is that Mr. Willard Greenfeld? Being filed in square teeth for a few with a, with a steel triangle file. Willie, so I think I got one of those too. It's it's a different one. It's, it's kind of triangle with the little flat edge on it. it. Is that right, buddy, or not? You should take a picture, Willie, and... and this this makes it look just like my ground chain off my off my grinder friends. It does. I'll see if I can find a chain that is. Do you guys want to see me kind of do it here? Do you want me to set it up so you can kind of see what I'm doing? You guys saw it on the video there. I'm not real good at it yet. Just hang on. See if we can get this. Isaac, who did these super chats? Who who's this? Cody, Cody, and you got is that the big wall? Yeah, big waza. Oh, big waza. Look at you guys. Love wins. He says. Look at. I'm just checking this out, you guys again. Brandon Church, we got. Yep. Deeds, deeds, you dirty dog. Thanks, deeds. Okay. There, now we're getting somewhere. Now, let's put you guys right up here like this. Wow. <laughs> Look at this. Look at that. That's pretty cool. Okay. You can see, right? Okay. There. That's flat. That's flat across the bar. Right there like that. You got to be like this. Right like this. See that? I'm just going to wear one in and I'm going to show you something. Just going to give you an idea. There we go. <laughs> Look at this. Let's see if that one worked. It's a tough angle. My angle's not quite right, but holy cow, this looks evil. <laughs> you guys know what a ground chain's supposed to look like. That angle goes in there. You're not going to see it here anyway, I don't think. This one. See if you can see this. You might. That one right there. I don't know if you'll see it. Yeah, see that line? It's it's sharp. It looks like two edges that are like it's crazy, friends. And it's sharp to like, you know, like to touch. Like like really sharp. Yeah. I've only done it four times. And all, all I'm going by is what Iron Horse told me what to do. 45, 45, 45. So, so you're, you're like this, friends, actually. That's how, it's, that's how I get what I get there that looks like on my uh, grinder. You know when I'm grinding? What do you do? I'm trying it. I like to try stuff. I don't like to 
listen to people say, oh, you know, this is this is way better than that, or this is, I like, okay, that's great. I listen to it, and then I try it so that I can go, hey, that was the same experience I had. It was faster. You know what I mean? Not just, oh, I heard that, so, oh, this is what, this is what I heard, so that's, you know what I'm saying, friends. Have your own experience is what I'm saying. I got to stoke the fire. Yeah. Yes, indeed. Yeah, I'm 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 enjoying it. I I like what I've seen so whoa, Derek. Holy cow. Happy Sunday bucking get any it's snowing today. It just started to snow today, Darren. Thank you for the super chat, buddy. Thank you. Look at all the comments. How do we? How important is it to grease your scro your bar sprocket? Uh, I, I've just been doing it for twenty years, so I, I think it's I think it's quite important myself. Yeah, me too. And it's a, it's a beauty, isn't it? That suckers. Amazing. It's a 1949 IEL. It's gorgeous. Uh, I, I find it works uh, better, Kenny. Yeah. The Husky gauges work. They're simple. They work, but they're garbage steel. This one I was using. Oh, it's not on these. The little Carlton I found worked quite nice, to be honest with you. Quite nice. <clears throat> You know what, Adam, uh, I, hang on a sec, hang on. So what's this? What what's this thing? Is that what you're talking about? See it? I I don't know. I'm not sure if I can get the same. I haven't really tried it because Iron Horse gave me what Mr. Greenfeld, are you still on? See that? I don't know. I'm going to have to try it on a chain and see if I can get the same thing. Oh, oh so that's it, Willie. Mr. Will Do. Been a long time, buddy. Good to see you. Mr. Greenfeld. Man, oh, man. All those signatures up on it. You dirty... You dirty dog, Willard. You've been a busy man, Willard, eh? A few subscribers showed up, Willard. Did you notice? <laughs> so that's the one you use, eh, buddy? And does it does it give you that same that same angle? I'll give it a shot. I'll give it a shot. Wow. Yeah, I heard, Willie. I heard. That's incredible, buddy. Are they giving you any days off, my brother? You know, Willie, I always think about that day me and you were working on that old Mac in here and we and we took a shot in the dark on the on the condenser. Remember? That was the first condenser I've ever seen go, except on my old one of my old trucks. Isn't that crazy? That was fun, Will, Will do. That was real fun. I'm going to try this. Wow. 
We're going to try it. But I, I'm going to look at the two files. Chain breaker. Okay, let me see something here. Okay. No, that doesn't lay in there. Oh, that might. Maybe, maybe that'll work. So Willie, when you're filing, are you straight across the, with the file or are you on an angle, Willie? Will do. You still with us, brother? You are, aren't you? Are you on an angle when you're filing like this, or are you straight across? I'm going to wait for his answer. Steep angle. Oh, yeah. Like, like that? Coming up, Willie? Like that? Use a handle. Yeah, I will. Okay. I just got to see something here. I'm going to sacrifice. I'm going to take one for the team. Oh, maybe like that. Okay, wait a minute, wait a minute, oh, oh, you guys see what I'm, the side plate, the side plate should either be straight up and down or, or five degrees back. I like my side side to be back a little teeny bit. Yeah. Now now Willie, on your side plate, on, on your side plate, Willie, does it end up looking like this? Because that's the one we just filed. Actually, that's not that bad. Oh no, there it is there. Actually, you know what? I got some figuring to do, but I think this will work. Whoa, Andy. Thank you, Billy, for bringing such a positive light to YouTube. Andy Serrano. Mr. Andy Serrano, buddy, thank you, man. Buddy, thank you. Let's thank Andy Serrano, friends. What a nice comment. I, I, listen, that's all I got in me, brother. That's the only vibration I got is positive. I don't have any negative. It's gone, man. Thanks, Andy. I love you, buddy. Okay, this looks like the chain, the one I just filed right there. See the side to it? So that's not bad, but it's it's leaning that away forward. I like mine to either be straight down or five degrees back. See, like this side. See, look at this. See this one? You see that, friends? See the difference on the side plate? But there's there's underneath. This is pretty good. I'm going to hit it again. 
Are you guys are you guys doing okay? Did you guys hear those swear words? Tell me honestly, did you hear it? Did you hear me curse when I dropped the thing? Did you hear the words I said? Because we may have to gun this. <laughs> Frizzoli heard. You did, didn't you? Yeah. I may have to gun this. Okay. I see a combination of yes, no, yes, no. I apologize if I offend anyone. I dropped the lens right down on top of this thing. So I, I, I apologize if I've offended anybody. And if I go back and listen to it and I hear it, I'm going to see if I can edit it out or uh, we may gun this one. You guys tell me what you think. So, so that means I just, I just may need to do this. Well, let's try this. Oh, okay. Oh, no, that's not going to be right. Very interesting. Very interesting. You don't know unless you try. This will be our last one. This might be it. Yeah. Here we go. So, it's similar, but I, I don't like the action. I like this better. It, it makes more sense to my brain. But if I had started on that, I think it be, would be fine. Hey, will do. What I want to know is what does your side plate look like? Is it straight up and down or is it leaning forward a little bit? Will do. When you have fine, can you check for us and, and see what it looks like on the side? It should come straight down or, or just a touch back. That's, that's premium. Like five degrees back is fast. It grabs. It'd be interesting to, to see what you're, um, and what you're left with with a gullet. Just inspect what your tooth looks like. Would be neat, will do. Just send me a picture if you can. We got 336 people watching, and we got two. Oh, there's Becky Davis for crying out loud. How are you, Becky? Hit the like button, friends. The snowman says hit the like button. I think he's on to something. Thanks, will do. I <laughs> will do. I will do, will do. There's Ben. How are you, Ben? Good to see you. I rig it to itself, A King Recordings. Rig it to itself. Or speed line it. Like this. Okay, there's the fence. There's nothing to rig. Just put a false crotch right there. Or throw it up over the crotch. Put your undercut in. Tie the limb off. And rig it right to itself. Just hang a false crotch. 
a strap, a small four foot strap, choke the thing there, put your undercut in, put a loop under, hook the other end there, cut it off and hang it to itself. How do you like that? How do you like them apples and peaches and pears and cherries and plums? A Buick guy. Cool, buddy. Outdoors with the Morgans. Hey, Buck, and I finally showed up. <laughs> Good to see you. Good to see you. I hope that helps you, buddy. That's awesome. Thanks. Okay, good. I hope that makes sense. There's always a solution, my friend. You're never stuck up there. Don't, 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 ever, don't ever think you're stuck. You're not. You're not stuck. You're just, you're just waiting for that solution to hit, for the things to connect and go, oh, yeah. Now, I'll tell you a little quick little story. You need to hear a little story? This is... Well, forget it. I'm not even going to say this is the truth. I don't, this is what happened. This is where the beginning of my climbing care. Remember, I've, I've been climbing a while. I always say that. I say, this is the straight goods. Of course, it's the straight goods. I got hired by a guy because I was, I was running my own business, but I was very slow. I hadn't had much business yet, but I was eager. I was uh, 20, probably 28, 29. You know what I'm saying? And I got hired by this local company in a, I think I told this story, and he was working in a trailer park. I did tell this story. I didn't know how to rig tops. I could rig limbs all day long, but I had never, I had never caught a top, ever. And it was kind of, it was one of those things that I was nervous about. Well, I had to do it that day. I had to do it. And I remember being trainers all around Everything had to go straight to the bottom of the tree. Firewood chunks, everything. It just boom. So I'm up there. I got the thing stripped and I'm sitting in about four inches of wood and I'm going, well, what am I going to do? I've never done this before. I don't, and I left myself some, um, some nubs. Always leave little nubs so you can wrap and rig and throw a rope around and up and over. So I literally grabbed my rope off my hip, put an undercut in the tree because I seen somebody do that somewhere. I grabbed the rope. I came up around a couple nubs and I put tied the top and all I knew was when I put the back cut in, my eyes focused and went, okay, that rope is going to go with the thing and it's going to lay over the top of the tree on that limb. That's how I learned. I was not taught any of that stuff by anybody. And I just started going. That was a massive day for me. I came down. I came down and the guy I was working for he said, holy smokes, Bucking, you're fast, man. You looking for a full-time work? <laughs> I was like, no, no, thanks anyways. I didn't think I was that fast, but he was like, holy smokes. Isn't that crazy? It's all relative. It all depends on who you're used to working. That was something I was afraid about with my son. Putting my son to work with, with other people who were not so good of workers. Do you know what I mean, friends? And he would develop this nonchalant way of doing things and I'm like oh dear lord I can't have my son doing that <laughs> so when he came to me a year ago and said dad I want to climb trees I was like giddy up let's go so I set the pace if you run a business if you run a business and you're hiring guys get on site with them don't just hire people and say, have a good day, boys. I got to go to the coffee shop and shoot the shoot the skanachkas with the people down at the coffee shop. Get on the tools. Set the pace. Freaking go. Earn the respect of your men. The production will be much better. I remember when I got busted up, I, I never worked, I never had anybody work for me until I got busted up. And once I got back on my feet, I had to reach out. Skinny Kid was the first guy I ever trained. Yep. Nathan Lee, of course you can have a shout out, Nathan Lee. How the hell are you, Nathan Lee? Nathan Lee. Nathan Lee! Hey, Nathan! Nathan Lee! Nathan! Nathan Lee! Hi, Nathan! Is that a good enough shout-out, Nathan Lee? 
You guys know Nathan Lee? Nathan Lee was on YouTube the other day on my live chat. Nathan Lee was. His name's Nathan Lee. You heard of him? Yeah, Nathan Lee. Good guy, Nathan Lee. <laughs> uh, you guys know that Nathan Lee, right? Yeah, he's a guy on YouTube. He's got a YouTube channel. <laughs> I love it. Yeah, Nathan Lee. That's right. We'll have to shout him out every live feed now, eh, friends? <laughs> anyway. Okay. How's Mr. Lyle Davis doing? Craig Damron. Craig, thank you. I try to come here every day. Hey, Marshy, thanks for throwing up that website. Friends, if you're looking for a little treat for Christmas for your brother or your sister or your buddies, this Shikate, buckandbillyray.com. <laughs> Look at me, I can't even sell myself for crying out loud. <laughs> Marshy did it. He put, the, he put the link up. Yeah. Hey, um... Uh, oh, there it is again. Marshy put it up again. Good man. Go get yourself a t-shirt from the shop. Down at the Buck and Billy Ray shop. The Buck and Chop shop. Hey, now, um, old man, old timer, Mike. Mike, you asked a question a few minutes ago. And, and what was it? I saw your name go flying by and you asked a question. Old timer, Michael. What was it? I forget what it was. Hey, Casterman, thanks, buddy. Thanks for the super chat, pal. Okay. Dun, 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 dun. Hi, Buckin and friends. CB, thanks, Marshy. Chelsea, it's Sky. Is the chain done for? Uh, I would reckon so, Isaac, at some point. Yeah, you, you mean like like New York? Is, is, that, is that the East Coast? Where where um where Iron Horse is? Is is that the East Coast? I don't know. Oh, there's Michael right there. Michael, old timer. Just learned to round file. Now a flat file? <laughs> well, I'm learning to square grind, Michael. I'm learning to square grind. I gotta get that tooth I screwed up. Where is it? Yeah, it's here. See? See, I'll show you. I got to fix it here now. But it looks like these will work. Yeah, see? So, so that goes in like that. So... Yeah, geez, I don't know. I don't think so. Hey, friends. Here we go. Good. Oh, I guess I better straighten out that that raker now. It's like the tooth is gone.
There. Now it won't chatter. There we go. So I'm going to grab one of these axe handles. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to grab one of these axe handles, friends. Do you guys remember the axe I broke on the, uh, the honeysuckle handle with this thing? Do you guys remember that? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh yeah. Yeah. It's gonna end up probably, oh look at that. I'm gonna take that right down to the shoulder. So that's gonna end up, let's see, right there. Oh, it's gonna be glorious. It's gonna be about a 30, 30, 31 inch ax. Oh, oh, oh. oh. It's going to be glorious, friends. I, I'm going to make that sucker, eh? Yeah. What did you guys think of Cody? Hey, that that those people we gave a shout-out to, do you know who that is? It's a new axe company hot on the market. The guys, I don't... What was his name? I forget, but I know Colby the Handle Maker is who I went to see, Okay. But uh, Lamica axes, it was a nice axe. Did you guys see me clobbering that wood out in the bush with that guy? <laughs> I was having a blast, friends. I was having a blast. Oh, there's Chester. Hey, boy. Boop, boop. Crazy dog. Wow. Joseph Winkle. How you doing, Joseph Winkle? Wasn't that fun, Becky? I had a good time. I had a real good time. Dan Schramm, good to see you, buddy. Any advantage to square file? Lots. Yeah. Yeah, if, if, if you can get it right, there is. Andre. Hey, buddy, Merry Christmas. Happy New Year's to you, buddy. Thank you, pal. Good to see you. Thanks, Bobby88. Um, hey, James Ledemsma, good to see you, buddy. Yeah, um, like I say, I've just gotten on to the square filing, but but square ground chain, which I don't see how, you, you'd have to be a, a really good filer. You'd have to be just amazing to get, it's funny. <laughs> uh, yeah, you're not going to get it as good as a machine. You're just not going to. Not, not, no, no. Maybe years and years of, of, of practice. I'm gonna I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna put the time in. I am friends. I'm gonna put the time in on that because because when I'm out out working and if I if I you know hit hit a tooth, what we do fall is just swap the chain out. Boom, you're back to work instantly. You're not sitting over a stump filing your power saw. It's not how it goes. You got to be getting meters down on the ground. So that's that's where we come from. Um, but if I'm running ground chain on a resi job and I tick something, I can just grab my file now. Iron Horse got me those files. But Willie, Willie, uh, will do. I can see how that would work. But, but I want to see, take a picture of your chain for me around the angles. I want to see what you're getting with this. 
Because I can see, I think, how the only thing that I see different is how that, yeah, I, I, don't, I don't see how that would make it the same. Yeah, so that would have to be, yeah, I really don't know. I do not know. Jonathan Bradley, John Bradley, good man, good man. Thanks, Paul. Good to have you, Mr. Fowler. Glad you're here. Well, thank you, buddy. Thank you. I'm glad you're here, buddy. It's, uh, I, I, I'm blown away. There's Merck. Merck, old boy. How are you, Merck? Will do, Andrew. Thank you. Thanks, Andrew. Journey North. Hey, buddy. Lee McDonald. Which one are you talking about, Lee? I got two files here. This one here. This one actually creates the angle in the file right in here, in, in on the edge. It's like this. It goes in the tooth like this. I'll show you. Okay, like this, look. Let's use this one for instance, okay? Let's use this, okay? This goes like this. See that? It literally, this is your angle. Watch this. Like that. That's how that goes, right like that. Hey, it's crazy. I had to figure it out myself. Iron Horse kind of gave me an idea, 45. Right? 45, 45, and 45. I like that. Yeah, good to see you, Merck. Right on, brother. Yeah, you can get them online, Marshy. Are you, are you doing that, buddy? Marshy, are you running? Are you running uh, square ground or round foul right now? Zan, love this channel from Slovenia. Slovenia, buddy, thank you for popping in and thank you for saying that, buddy. It's great to see you, Mister Slovenia. Love it. Do you think square is easier? No, it's harder. Sky, it's, it's harder. It's harder to file square. That's why nobody does it. <laughs> no, round file is easier. But it isn't it is not faster. It's not faster. You wait, you wait, you give me you give me a month, two months, three months. It's gonna be scary. I'm I'm gonna do this. I'm gonna learn it. I'm gonna do it. It's harder, isn't it, Marsh? It's it's well, until you get her down, isn't it?
Oh yeah, right on, Marsh. So, so there was a guy that just asked a question. He says, "What style of chain should I use for cutting hickory?" Well, we don't have hickory, buddy, so I haven't. I can't speak to that. But what I do know, what I do know, and you guys might want to try this. But, but the thing is, you got to try it. You can't just knock, knock it and go, "Oh no, that round chain." Oh no, I'm not doing that. You got to try it to understand it. I know that guys in Australia, and they got harder wood than, than, than you guys do. They, they've got hard stuff down there, okay? So I've cut hickory. I've cut ash. I've cut your hards wood down. I've been down there. It's hard. Pig nut and shag bark, that stuff's hard. I've cut it. I know. So listen, I was told by Bobby Walker, okay, my old buddy Bobby Walker, that some of the guys in Australia, what they do, this, now this is what he told me, they get round chain for a couple different reasons. The wood's so bloody hard. Think about a milling chain. A milling chain is round chain. When they, when they sell them to you, it's round, okay? So I, I think... It's more or less how you're going to sharpen your chain than anything. That's truly what I believe. You might want to not have such a, a massive gullet maybe. Uh, but, but try different things with your filing. Because if, if you've got a great big gullet, that works good in the softwoods and stuff and some of the hardwoods, but something that's really hard. I personally think ground chain would be incredible. You know what you might want to try in hardwood? Is the baby C. Something with a smaller chip with the proper raker height. I might, I think you might find you might rip through that stuff. Does that make any sense? Maybe 325 chain. I don't know. But you got to try it so you can speak to it, not just flap your gums. I would try round or semi chisel. But in saying that, it's about raker height. Try some different things. Try a square, uh, try a chain out of the box. It's the only way to do it. Grab two chains. Grab a round file chain, like a round chain. Take the rakers down a little bit. You got to understand with a round chain, I find a little hungrier raker is a little better. Does anybody else experience that? Talk to me. Give me a hell yeah. If that's what you've understood as well as I have. Round chain, you can be a little hungrier with the, with the raker. Uh, chisel's going to bite a little more. Chisel chain's going to bite a little more. So you might want to lay off on the raker a bit. There's some hell yeahs right there. Okay, good. So you might want to try. Just give it a, give it a try so you can tell me. Tell me something. Somebody go buy a round chain. Or semi-round or something round. Take the rakers down a little lower. And, and lay on that hardwood. Lay on it. But keep your, keep your chain speed up. Do you understand what I'm saying? You see, so if you put a chisel, full chisel chain, uh, she's going to bite. She's going to bite. Change the angle on your file a little bit. Start trying some different things. Maybe if you crank your, crank your angle back a little more straight, it might cut better. You might be surprised, friends. But you got to find these things. Talk to other guys that cut hardwood for 30, 40 years. Talk to the old fallers. Those guys are going to know. The new guys dancing around on forums, they ain't going to know nothing. I hate to say it, but they ain't going to know it. Talk to the old fallers. Talk to your grandpa, his, his buddy that was a faller for 30 years in the hardwoods. Talk to that guy. Track that guy down. Your answers will be now. Oh, great. Thanks. I'll give that a shot. Those are my suggestions. Harvey will Harvey will know. Harvey will know some answers. The Iron Horse will know some answers. But that's one man. You know, get, get after some different opinions. Go after, do you understand, friends? Find out some different stuff. Try some things on your own.
That's it. Becky, you got it. Pick the pick the brains of the old fallers, man. They're the guys that did it. What's changed? Nothing's changed. The wood hasn't changed in a hundred years. Talk to those old fallers. Amulus, how are you, buddy? Anyway, friends, Justin, welcome to the channel, buddy. I'm going to roll out, friends. I got some access to make. Yeah. Marshy, you must have some feedback on that. What kind of chain's the best in the hickory? What, what have you found, Marsh? You, you might be surprised. You know, you, 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 might, you might very well be surprised at, at what, uh, what round chain might do for you. Square tooth in the hickory. There you go. Yeah, I, I mean, that's, that's what I would... I would probably run a ground chain. I would run run square. That's what I would do. But I wouldn't, you know, you got to watch your raker height. That's all. Yeah, 404 is a good suggestion too. That's a great suggestion. Round chain at 20% 20, uh, 20 rakers. Is that your is that your preferred climb forty four is that is that your preferred in the hardwood or is that just something you you're making a suggestion because I know you've been cutting for a while full chisel somebody says full chisel yeah hands yeah that would be my first try I mean why not find out what works friends there's marshy twenty to twenty five cross angle is good to help stay sharp. It is, but what kind of chain, Marshy? Just straight up chisel? Full chisel? Joel, good to see you, Joel. We're getting, we're getting starting to get a bit of snow and rain here now. Or snow. Yeah. Yeah, it, it seems to be full chisel seems to be the way, but... That's probably because a lot of people haven't tried. You know what I would like to, you know what I would like to see? You know what I would like to see somebody do? Go buy a round chain, full house. Go buy like a milling chain, just a full house round chain. Strap it on your freaking saw. Listen to what I'm saying. Rip the gullet out, get a nice hook in there. Not nothing crazy, just, just nice. And drop your rakers down a little more hungry than usual. And see what happens. I would like, but you got to use a raker gauge. You can't be doing it by eye. You'll be jumping all over and chattering all over. It, jumpy isn't fast. Smooth is fast. Put a gauge on it. See what happens. Round chain. You might be surprised. I don't know. It's just a suggestion. I know it'll stay sharper longer. Here's Gainsies with one of them super stickers. <laughs> I love it. It's good to see everybody today. We had snow earlier today. Yeah. Yeah, I mean that's your that's your square, right? That's full chisel. Yeah. Hey, thanks, Levi. Yeah, well, that's that's the that's the fear, of Bobby eighty eight, isn't it? That that's the thing. It probably it you know depending on how depending on how you grind, you know. Uh, I think if you cut back on the angle a little bit and maybe played with it a bit, it probably. But yeah, it's not going to last a ton. That's what I'm saying. 
That's why round chain might be a surprise. You might you might find you get a longer cut out of it. Maybe even, what do you call it there, semi-chisel. And drop your rakers a bit. You might be surprised. It might allow you to lean on the saw a little more. Do you understand what I'm saying, friends? Do you know what I mean? Like a not, not a real hungry chain is going to allow you to, to maybe lay on it a bit harder. It's hard to say. But what I'm saying to you, and, 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 and amongst all this conversation that we're having here, the, the worst thing that could happen after this conversation is that somebody leaves here and goes and says, oh, I think this would work better than that. No, I would do this. This, this is better than that. Don't do that. Go to the freaking saw shop, buy a round chain, strap it on your freaking chain and go cut some hickory. Play around with it. Learn about it. Then speak from knowledge, not from hearsay. Does that make sense, friends? Have your own experience. Good man, Omulus. Good man. Now try it, but remember, you probably can afford to drop your rakers a little lower than usual so use the softwood setting. If you've got a softwood setting, use the softwood setting. And if you don't have a softwood setting, then use your normal setting. And then, and then, this will be about the only time I'd ever say this, get a little one of these, because you, you won't know otherwise. Mark the tooth. Put your thumb on the tooth. And give the raker, listen to what I'm saying, give the raker one of these. Go like this. This is after you've hit it with your raker gauge. I'm talking round file, not chisel, round chain, okay? Put your thumb, after you use a raker gauge, put your thumb on top of your thing and just go like this. Through the whole chain, just one more sweep, just like that. You see? That'll make it bite just a little bit more. I got to get the hell out of here. I'm going to go review my swear word. And if it's not pretty, I'm, I'm going to figure it out. I'm going to actually delete this live feed. Or I'm going to see if I can edit it somehow and get it out there. I'm not having swear words on this channel. I'm not having it. Hi, Wayne. How are you, buddy? Yeah, I got to go make some axes. That's right. That's right. That's right. <laughs> okay, friends. I love these all. Thanks for popping in. Thanks to all the freaking super chatters, friends. And the moderators. And the lovers. And the haters. Let's love the haters. Love them. Kill them with kindness, friends. All right. Over and out, everybody. Thanks for popping in. It's always a pleasure. Have a good week.